Teardown is a physics sandbox game packed full of maps to destroy and tools with which to destroy them. As you play through the campaign, you'll unlock new places to obliterate, new gear to wreak havoc with, and gain a better understanding of just what is possible. Well, forget all of that gradual progress nonsense for just a moment, because Teardown on PC has a Steam Workshop. Here, you'll find plenty of mods that can make for some absolutely chaotic and entertaining experiences. Luckily, Steam Workshop mods are just a click away, and these are some of the best that you will want to download right away. First off, we have Better Slow Motion. This mod is more of a tweak than something that alters the game significantly, but necessary nonetheless. Teardown comes with some mods built in, including a slow motion feature that you can enable. However, you have to hold down the button, which is pretty limiting when you want to watch that destruction in all of its slowed down glory amidst the action. Better slow motion, first and foremost, makes the feature a toggle, meaning you can just run around and break stuff to your heart's content while the slower time consists. Additionally, it allows you to adjust how slow you want the time to be with the scroll wheel of your mouse. Needless to say, this makes destruction much more cinematic. Next up we have dual miniguns. It's like one minigun, but with two of them. There's not much justification needed here. It's for when you want to wreak havoc with a minigun, but one is just not quite enough. Watching as the onslaught of bullets tear through the very fabric of everything never gets old, and it's a surefire way to bring down anything that stands before you. They also fire bullets at such a rate that you'll fly off in the opposite direction while shooting. Sure, there might be a jetpack mod built into the game already, but where's the fun in that? Soar through the skies with two big guns as the ground splits before you. Lovely. The Mega Gun. Okay, so one minigun is pretty good, and as we've mentioned, two miniguns, even better. So where do we go from there? Simple, you take those two miniguns, merge them into one, and give it even more power. This is the Mega Gun. A minigun so powerful that it will tear through anything quicker than you can see the bullets fly. There are even multiple ammo types you can swap between, including some mini nuke bullets, so it's easily one of the best mods to play around with for pure destruction. Then we have the dynamic ATAT -AT map. Everyone knows the giant walkers from Star Wars. They can be easily recognized across pop culture, and fans will remember watching on as the rebels on Hoth brought them down to the ground in a satisfying collapse and crash. So of course, now you can do just that in this game all about breaking things. While we don't quite have the speedy ships equipped with ropes to tie up and trip the ATATs, you are able to do just about anything else. Climb inside them, load them with explosives, fire a rocket launcher at their body, sever their legs! Actually, is anyone else starting to feel kind of bad for these guys? Regardless, having a playground to mess with these iconic behemoths is incredibly fun. Tear NG Based on the incredibly fun vehicle physics game Beam NG Drive, Tear NG puts you in a destructive playground for cars. You'll be able to drive to mess around with the ramps, stunts, and oversized hammers, and watch as the vehicles crumble in different ways. While most maps will focus on you destroying the environments, there's something refreshing about using the environment to destroy a single thing instead. Seeing how many ways you can flatten a vehicle just never gets old. Trains. Everyone likes trains. The majority of Teardown takes place across fun maps to mess around in, but sometimes you just want something a little simpler. With this mod, you have access to a map that is nothing more than a train on a looping track around an empty field. You'll start on the train and can drive it, but there's yet more fun to be had. Hop off the train and you'll see it goes through a tunnel, around some corners, and across a wooden bridge as it makes its way around the loop. And a wooden bridge is ever so slightly... 
flammable. That said, you could just rig the train with explosives and grab the popcorn. Voxel Plaza. This map is perfect for when you just want to load up a sandbox with mods and cause some chaos. With a decent amount of sizeable buildings, a multi-story car park in the middle, and several towering cranes, well, you can only begin to imagine. Imagine and scheme. Yes, you can topple the cranes and watch them rip through the buildings. Yes, you can damage the supports of that oh-so-vulnerable parking lot and watch as it crumbles. Needless to say, if you have some new mods you want to try out, this is a good place to start. Who do you call when you want to cause destruction? A meteor. With this mod, you can click on something you don't want to look at anymore, and lo and behold, it's not going to be there for much longer. Wherever you were looking will soon be subject to a meteor that has plummeted from the sky, and it's a glorious sight. On smaller targets, nothing but a crater will remain. On bigger targets, such as buildings, you will watch as the meteor tears a path into it, and in the aftermath you can see just a tunnel clearly cut through it. It's certainly overkill, but sometimes that's exactly what you need. You don't just want to hit it with a hammer, you want it to cease existing. Then we have the Boeing 737. So all of that destruction is fun and all, but why don't we take this to the next level? The next level being about 30,000 feet. The Boeing 737 map is a unique mod, as it actually consists of multiple maps. The one we're here to focus on, however, is the plane while it's mid-flight. You can cause quite the interruption to that flight, that's for sure. Open the emergency exits and watch as everything, you included, is sucked out of the plane in rapid succession. There's plenty of fun to be had when trying out all of your tools in such a confined space high up in the air. Split the plane in half, chuck something at the engines, or detach the wings entirely. Or if you have the Meteor mod. And finally, we have the lightsaber. Pop culture makes its way into just about everything, and what better tool to cause destruction with than the lightsaber? This is a satisfying weapon to use, listening to the hum as it glows, or watching it burn through any material like it's nothing. This easily has to take the place for one of the best mods on Teardown, just because it's perfect for any scenario. Whether you're in a city, fighting AT-ATs, or on a plane, Pull out the lightsaber and start swinging, tearing scorching ripples through every matter, all while laughing maniacally and savoring every second. God, Teardown really brings out the worst in us, doesn't it? <laughs>